Great. Well, thank you, everyone, uh, for being here and dialing to this uh, Gitcoin and NextID Social Hour Hackathon AMA. My name is Hannah. I'm the head of growth at NextID. And uh, joining me today are our amazing uh, friends uh, from uh, Gitcoin Gloria and our community manager, uh, Wei, from NextID. So uh, we'll use today's time to uh, give you a better idea of uh, NextID and the different uh, bounties that we've listed out for the specific social R hackathon on Gitcoin this time. And also Gloria can also share with us a bit more in terms of if you're uh, like a first time a Web3 developer just kind of tuning in to learn what it is, like how to participate in this hackathon. Um, overall, we are super excited uh, to be one of the core uh, donors and contributors of this hackathon. A uh, quick overview of NextID. Uh, we are a decentralized identity protocol with the goal of being able to bridge Web2 uh, users with Web3 through identity uh, authentication, connection, and a social graph. And uh, our community manager, Wei, will share more about uh, how NextID works and the specific uh, bounties that we will love div different developers to participate in uh, through this time's hackathon. Yeah, uh, great. So without uh, further ado, uh, I'll uh, let Gloria and Wei introduce themselves a bit more and also, um, you know, more about Gitcoin and NextID. Gloria, do you want to kick us off? Yeah, I'm more than happy to. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Gloria. I'm part of the hackathons team at, and the events team at GetCoin. Um, I've participated in quite a few of hackathons, I think. Uh, we're close to anywhere between three and 400 at now. I stopped counting a long time ago. But I've either participated, judged, or helped facilitate uh, quite a bit of them. Um, I did my transition from Web 2 to Web 3 in 2017. Uh, and early on, uh, did all of my investment from um, hackathon bounties was how I was earning money in the space until I transitioned into working in the space. So uh, before that, I worked at Square um, using hackathons to help people get hired on as a way to uh, have different people um, come into the funnel than traditional um traditional uh, flows as far as recruitment's concerned. And so we were, I was the engineer on the recruitment team, um, dealing with all different aspects of software engineering and how you get hired, how you promote, uh, how you can go to hackathons and create good prizes. So um, hackathons are definitely my life or they've been my life for the last five years. And now I am at Get Clean still and I'm helping um, with Biddlebox and cre creating a hackathons product there. Uh, and uh, I'm really happy to do that. Um, for today though, today's whole aspect is the social hour. And I couldn't think of a more poignant discussion to be having uh, during these times. So I'm excited to meet all of y'all, answer any questions you might have uh, about Gitcoin, getting started, uh, you know, who should join, what you can do with it, you know, how to take a project further, uh, anything like that. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. Great. Thank you, Gloria, for the introduction. I didn't know you were uh, in the Hackathon space for so long. That's, that's super cool. Um, yeah. And then, uh, like we said, so today, uh, this this time really dedicated is uh, to like everyone uh, dining, uh, dialing in and l uh, learning more about the Hackathon. So I will uh, leave enough room for questions. Yeah. And Wei, do you want to introduce yourself and uh, more about NextID? Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Anna. So this is Wei. I'm currently the community manager for Next.ID. And first, a little bit uh, about myself. So I'm a like years uh, open source practi uh, practitioner. I'm uh, so into open source. And originally, I was a Android developer. And uh, I believe internet is the future for human human beings. So I picked uh, picked it to be started as an engineer. Then I'm. I realized that my interest is uh, even wider, so I do a lot of other jobs, and eventually I settle as a community manager. And in the past, I've served uh, for um, TensorFlow Community, which is a leading AI framework at Google. Uh, Google, and also I was served in um, Adobe Cloud and to um, help a lot of open source projects, or I should say uh, cloud native open source projects, which is building the foundation of our era. Uh, 
you can see how hard it is for uh, cloud computing right now. And and then uh, I think only four months ago, I'm not like Gloria and have been uh, doing this for years. And uh, for Web3, I came across about, about it like several months ago and I joined Web3 for only um, almost five months now, I believe. I started this uh, from Children's Day. So quite happy. I think uh, open source community is quite like uh, what Web3 DAO is plans to do. So that's why I hop in. And for next ID, I think next ID is a very critical infrastructure um, uh, based on what, it, what it's doing. So we, we are a next uh, DID protocol, uh, decentralized identifier protocol, uh, which is very similar to you. You have a passport, you have a drive license, everything. But all of that, all those identities back to the Web3 era are uh, centralized, right? So it's controlled by a government institution or a certain groups. So it's not uh, controlled by yourself. So many projects are uh, are hoping to uh, do a DID protocol that can help give back the, uh, so, uh, digital sovereignty to the individuals. So this is what we're doing right now. And in and, and the follow uh, discussions, I will introduce you more about the bounties and in in helping with the uh, coin hacks on this time. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank you, Wei, for the introduction. Yeah. And then also before we dive into the bounties, I want to remind everyone uh, here that uh, we're also giving out uh, a proof of participations for today's like Twitter space. So uh, if you're here, uh, we welcome you to follow Next ID on Twitter and retweet uh, this uh, particular uh, tweet, uh, share it with more of your friends, join our Discord, and we'll have our like uh, OAT uh, ready for claim. So you can claim it as a uh, participate a credential for you to participate in this event. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, like more links can be found in our original tweet. Uh, so um, definitely make sure uh, you can do that. All right. And then uh, without further ado, wait, can you share with us a little bit more about the specific bounties listed on next uh, on Gitcoin this time? Uh, Wei, can you hear me? Yeah, sorry, uh, just a, a little disconnection. So for the bounties this time, we have three uh, bounties. So all of them are uh, uh, shipped in the different levels. Uh, I think, uh, do we, can we share the link to the space chat? Uh, we'll share it later. Uh, so we have uh, three kind of bounties. Um, uh, so first one is for the core core uh, feature of Next ID. We have proof service, all service, and also relation service. Uh, basically, saying uh, the proof service is um, that define who you are with the identity of a public public and private key pair. So it's a proof chain to to uh, identify uh, where your I, I uh, account is. And then we have all service to uh, authenticating your account information with all all of your uh, DIDs, uh, no matter it's in Web three, Web two. Then we have all services. Uh, sorry, and we have a relation services to show all the uh, uh, data on uh, on chain or even off chain. So this is uh, about uh, basic things about uh, next ID and follow those uh, three bounties. So like the proof service I mentioned before, uh, we can afford uh, many of the platforms like you have, you have Twitter, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all your web through accounts. Uh, you, you, may, you may want to link with all that, right? So the first bounty is we want to support more uh, platforms. Imagine you want to uh, connect it with a uh, PlayStation as well, right? So all your accounts connected to an anonymous account. So this is what we want to support more proof uh, service, service. So this is the bound three and it's kind of easy. So uh, the, bound, the bounty amount claim is only uh, 1000 comparing to the, uh, the other two. 
And then the second is uh, uh, relations. Help us uh, expand the relation server social graph with more data sources. This is this is a kind of even challenge uh, job for you, because like as like I mentioned, a relation service is integrated so many data sources from out there on the web, so many many of them, and one of our core contributors is working on graph database. So it's a fresh new tag uh, to utilizing in Web three in DIDs, and we have shared this like uh, on the former community call, I believe. If you're interested, you can, uh, you can go out to check out check out it in a uh, YouTube channel we have, Next.id as well, the name. So uh, for relation server, this is uh, even critical that you can collect more data and more uh, specific uh, corresponding data you want to have uh, to connect with your account. So this is a uh, more interesting one. And then uh, the bounding goes to 2000, uh, 2000, this is the second. And the first, uh, the, the last one or the third one is kind of challenging. So uh, it's for you to do a headless browser for fetch and pull space. So this is, must be kind of hard for you. And uh, to go through the details, I think uh, if, you, if you are interested, uh, please join, join us. Um, with the uh, Tango group, I will share it later link. And you can, I believe, some of the developers also are discuss discussing on it. And the competition on this one is kind of hard because I already have two, uh, four applicants on this. So it's, it's interesting uh, con contest on this uh, feature. So this is basically what's been happening with these three bounties. Hope to get your answers, uh, our questions. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Wei, for uh, walking us through the three bounties and different uh, tiers of difficulty uh, for different levels of uh, developers. Yeah. Um, and then also you can uh, retweet maybe the bounties links on uh, on Twitter for people to better find uh, where everything is. But yeah, everything's under the social hour tab on Gitcoin. And Gloria, could you also uh, share with us a bit more like can kind of like what's the best way for people to participate. We know the hackathon is wrapping up uh, on November 9th. So uh, can people still participate now? Yeah. Yeah, you can still participate all the way up until the end of the hackathon, which ends November 9th at 2359 UTC. So you'll have to figure out uh, what that looks like uh, in your local time zone, but that's totally fine to be able to submit uh, for that. And uh, one of the ways that you can participate is just to go to getcoin.co uh, backslash hackathons backslash social hour. Um, and you'll see the actual onboarding page. Once you're there, it will allow for you to join the hackathon. You can join just as a single person or as a team. It's totally fine. Um, it might be a little bit difficult to find team members at this st stage, but uh, I would still join and like say something in the discord channel um, about wanting to team up or if you have a team bring them in um, because sometimes at the last minute people need you know all different types of things um, the last minute the last couple of days are pretty crunch hour so just trying to um, wrap things up is really important but also if you have an idea and you want to work towards that that's totally fine so when you get started um once you sign up for the hackathon, you'll see a bounty. You go to that bounty, and then you'll click Start Work. It'll allow you to create a little bounty plan for it. And then when you are completed the bounty, you're going to submit work, and that will submit your work um, to the uh, judges for it to be considered. Uh, one of the things I try to tell people is when they submit their work, you always want to link to the repo with a good readme in it so that uh, – people can know really like what you were planning to do and uh, you know what the project does things of that nature but if you are able to record a walkthrough or even a product demo um, that's always encouraged as well so uh, that is uh, usually about it on how you get started but if ever you need any help you can always find me in our getcoin discord too and I'm more than happy to help you out Great. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Gloria, for uh, 
uh, walk, uh, walking us through the bounty side. Yeah, I uh, want to open it up for questions to see anyone in the audience. If you have already started working on the bounties, if you're curious about the project, feel free to um, request a mic and ask any questions you want. And while you're bringing up people, Hannah, I'm just going to let people know, especially those who are transitioning from Web 2 to Web 3, um, I really encourage you to uh, play around and join a hackathon. We have quite a bit of winners that come from Web 2 backgrounds coming into Web 3, and it's not all just Web 3 masters that are winning these hackathons. So it's a good uh, chance to learn something new and to bring your perspective and to jump right in and learn the technology. So... Um, there's all different types of levels of bounties that are beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and it's great to be able to take a look and get started and get in. Uh, I know that Mask has sponsored quite a bit of our hackathons as well, so it's really helpful to just even get familiar with their technology in case you want to do something with them uh, moving forward. Yep, yep, exactly. All right, anyone, uh, anyone has any questions? Or want to maybe introduce themselves and your backgrounds. Happy to get to know you guys a little bit more. I'll we'll give everyone, a, yeah, feel free. Now is your time to ask questions. Also, if you're on Twitter uh, desktop, uh, make sure you use the, uh, switch to your phone to be able to speak. Yeah, the, I think the, the web end only allows for, for listening. Any any other questions? Let's see. It might be somewhat interesting to throw it out there to the audience too and see like what they think, how identity could play within our social structures right now and what they foresee it to, for the future to look like or what concerns that they have regarding uh, identity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm curious of what drew everyone to today's uh, AMA and what are the, some of the thoughts and questions you have about, like Gloria said, identities, next ID, Gitcoin, and Hackathon. Yeah, any, no, no topic is off the limit. Um, also like, yeah, if you don't feel comfortable asking in English, uh, we can also respond in Chinese, uh, it's another language we can't answer the questions in, just FYI. Or uh, maybe if you're still um, thinking about it, or um, it's like interested in like next idea, you can uh, for for audience here, you can react with uh, an emoji, so we know that um, you may want to get up uh, at some point.
Oh, by the way, uh, whenever everyone is thinking about the question, uh, I've just attached two comments to this space. So the first one is a bound list, as I explained uh, several minutes ago. So row three bounties, and feel free, feel free to uh, ask out on our Telegram. I've linked uh, with the second comment, our te uh, Telegram groups. So there were uh, several developers already on there to uh, file the questions. So this may, uh, may be comfortable for you to uh, do the texting. So just FYI. Yeah, and uh, also I don't know how much we mentioned it. So the total bounty prices is uh, six thousand uh, USD worth of mask tokens. Um, as the cause the mask network team is uh, like the same team that developed uh, Next ID, but we're uh, also opening it up to uh, more open source contributors to contribute to Next ID. Uh, but the bounty uh, awards will be six thousand uh, dollars USD worth of mask, um, which is a uh, pretty um, like I think overall, like a pretty uh, ent uh, enticing <laughs> um, uh, bounties for for developers. Just to put it out there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, also, I I think we have a quiz link that is on. Uh, we'll find the quiz link in a bit. Any questions? I saw some new people joining in. Um, if you have any questions about decentralized identity, Next ID, Gitcoin, uh, or how to participate in our uh, joint hackathon um, that's uh, ending in three days, feel free to ask questions. Uh, we're here to uh, to help you guide you through the process and help you, you know, win the win the bounties. Maybe I can. I think I can give uh, give more give out more information about next uh, next ID, our project. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Go ahead. Yes. Other than the three bounties we're giving out, uh, our uh, official website is next.id. So the same, the exact the same name. Uh, next.id. If we found out, um, what we're trying to do is that uh, we weren't replacing the whole. Uh, ID, ID uh, systems back to the web two, like uh, the passport license you are holding. And the interesting part is that um, we want we wanted to do it on a uh, virtual private uh, provider uh, uh, server. So it's a uh, VPS. So, so it's like uh, you are hosting, it was a similar idea that you are hosting a node in Bitcoin so it's a, not a centralized cloud provider to, to do the modification, to do the authentication. But instead, you are, you are hosting this whole uh, service on your computer you, or your own server, which is controlled by yourself. So this is an idea we want to utilize. In. And I think this idea was original from uh, the web and also it's kind of important. I think it's it's kind of the web one tech actually web one tech like several uh, ten years ago maybe maybe uh, twenty years ago even but uh, yeah right now I think we we wanted to do it again also the web is also doing it and many of other um, uh, open source developers is also with us on this approach so it's the interest one uh, just for uh, just for FYI. And and yeah, and uh, recently uh, our set, our critical feature released is uh, all server, all service, and all services. We want aims to provide a seamless 
similar sort of authentication experiences just like you have uh, back to the web two when you when you log all of those apps with one click on a Google account or a Twitter uh, Google account or maybe Facebook account, right? You authorize authorize your Google account in all those apps out there. So we are doing so as well in Web two, and I think there are many, also a few uh, OS authenticators as well. Three well OS as well working on this. They all we are all open source, and this is a, a good situation. I believe they, we all believe that we want to provide a good situation or uh, sorry experiences user experiences comparing to the web 2 which which left web 2 users to, can be choosing or they can they can just enjoy joining web 3 as well as as long as uh, they join web 3 it's the same for them so this is two uh, these are two the two interesting part WPS and also is uh, for us in right now for this project and looking forward I think uh, I think there are many, uh, many more to explore, and hope you or are, uh, any other uh, interesting parts you are you you are interested. You can just find out your questions. Yeah, a little bit more about our project. Now back to Hannah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Wei, for the additional uh, sharing on our roadmap. Uh, I think especially like Gloria said uh, at the very beginning of um, the AMA, right now it's kind of a very topical time to talk about social and what it means uh, for like Web3 to go social and how would like a platform like Twitter uh, kind of like become more decentralized or become like more Web3 um, like acceptance uh, under uh, Elon Musk or maybe not. Uh, you know, there's just been so much like on and off going on. So it's a really interesting time to be building in the sphere of Web3 social uh, and with a decentralized uh, identity uh, and then decentralized identifiers uh, popping in uh, projects like NextID and there are many more other peers they are building in uh, similar directions. Uh, we're seeing this really as the foundation of how Web3 Social needs to kind of glow, uh, grow and flourish. Like without um, identities, it's hard to uh, really kind of like grow any additional uh, layer of behaviors or any uh, social graphs uh, in a decentralized manner. So that's why uh, we are really evangelizing on kind of adopting decentralized identities uh, in different uh, dApps and also in ensure that the user flow and like kind of login is much uh, easier compared to the current user experience that we see in Web3. And I think that this is the perfect time, too, because I think people are reevaluating how they currently deal with social apps and looking yeah. for different alternatives. And so it's great because of uh, adoption, you know, you can definitely get people thinking about different concepts such as self-sovereignty, uh, you know, identity and why it's important to them, but also like really thinking about what they want to create in the future and what they definitely don't want to go back to. Um, and so it's, I think that when that's the case, it's up to the developers to kind of be the ones who see what's on the horizon and build it and build mm -hmm. the tools that are necessary for people to move forward. So that's why I'm the most encouraged that NextID is participating in this hackathon, but as well as I'm excited to see, you know, the response to the bounties and the projects that are created during this time, because, uh, you know, I don't, I think the developers are the most visionary people and it's on their backs that we're able to like build the future we really want to see. Yeah, ab absolutely think uh, for like the, the kind of at the core of Web3 is like kind of a very user centric kind of data ownership, privacy protected uh, kind of user experience. And all of that uh, would not be able to be accomplished with the current infrastructure. So that's why uh, decentralized identities as we see it, as we see it is really kind of the foundational step towards like Web3 uh, going more social and welcoming more users uh, to the space. Yeah. Um, and I've seen people like kind of like coming in and out. Uh, any questions? We're really here to help you answer any questions that you may have about the hackathon, um, about the project, about the bounties. Yeah, feel free to request a mic, and we'll bring you on.
Yeah, or if you're not in the position to speak up, you can also, I, I, wrote, I believe, like just leave a comment under the thread, and we'll also be able to see it. For those that just joined, we're in the uh, Q and A, like the free flow MA section. So, if you have questions, please just request a mic, and we'll get you on. And for those that are interested in claiming a proof of uh, attendance for today's AMA, we've uh, launched our uh, participation quiz uh, for you to claim a. Uh, like a credential, like participation credential, um, on the on the same link that's pinned here. So feel free to to check that out. Yeah. You know, I wonder if, you know, while we're here, we're throwing away, throwing through a lot of terms such as, you know, self-sovereign identity and why that's important. And I wonder if all of our audience like knows that already and it's mm. just like, common knowledge or if it would be helpful for me to at least explain it in like a two minute version. So um, oh, yeah. if you now like then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. But if you would love to understand like why self-sovereign identity is important in social apps, um, then maybe if you give us a heart. And that would be great. And then I can at least know if we need to kind of move forward and talk about like why that's important. Yay. Okay, so it looks like there's a good chunk that know and the good chunk that would like uh, to have like a, a better understanding of why that's important. So um, I think like one of the things that we have to look at maybe is like, Maybe way you can help me with this too, but when we're looking at centralized models of social medias or any type of social structures versus decentralized uh, structures, you know, one of the things is the ownership of the data that you have to think about. And like uh, a lot of times, um, traditionally, you know, um, if you don't own the data and you don't own the node, then you can be like censored or you can like have your data being sold off and you just have no like necessarily control over it over it or what happens and they're all part of you and um one of the things that i always think is like a really good uh like movie to kind of watch is like um terms and conditions may uh, uh, apply and it's kind of like gives you insight to how uh terms and conditions and policies kind of like don't want you to know like how your data is kind of being used and they'll give you self-sovereignty where um, with identity and self-sovereignty, um, then it's like you like can basically have everything like be uh, decentralized where the nodes are run everywhere. And so there's a, um, it allows for things to be more censor censorship resistant. But um, when you own the node, you own your data and you can share, decide like how you want to share things and how much of yourself you want to share back and forth, uh, which is important uh, as well. Um, one of the things that I always think about when we're dealing with identity is like civil attacks. And so, um, you know, well, if it's, you know, if anyone can create an identity, then how can people create multiple identities or is it important for people to create multiple identities or can they just share pieces of their identity back and forth? Um, or how do you validate people's identities? Um, at Getcoin, we always have to deal with like, you know, because the people's identities are tied to like possible funds via grants protocols um, that we always have to deal with like civil attacks and how can that help and a civil attack is just basically kind of like a person is themselves and creates like other little people to like vote them up to get funds so it's kind of like a catfish 
type scenario where, um, you know, people would get more contributions and whatnot through it. And that's kind of like a civil attack where there's one person creating multiple accounts to try to influence the outcome of a interaction. Um, and, uh, in a society where consensus is important and, you know, they're tied to different actions, um, that can be very uh, difficult to, to deal with. So if you can have valid identities through like proof of humanity or different types of identity protocols, um, people can be who they are and kind of give the information they want to give out, but yet uh, also uh, not have to give out information that they want to give out too. Um, and to have more control over it. So um, I think that there's a lot of aspects that are important when decentralized, when you're thinking about decentralized identity, but uh, it allows for more personal ownership and for you to be able to have uh, the decision on to like the direction and the uh, use of the interactions. Um, so I know that's like a whole bunch of terms and hopefully I... <laughs> And in a way that makes sense, but you know, I'm sure Wei can explain it uh, better from Next ID's perspective. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Gloria. I think this is very interesting. Uh, I think you know, this was also very helpful. I was, uh, I want to just sort of stretch uh, on a developer's perspective. So, uh, two, two things you mentioned is very critical. The first is that if we want to if we own the data, the second is we can access the data only by ourselves, right? Like we have a pri pri private key to to uh, claim to access the data, no one else can. Then the data was uh, is in a uh, store in a place uh, where I can control, or even a physics driver. So uh, why why would we are here? I think back to the. Uh, I, I want to mention, bring up a little uh, tag named uh, serverless. If you know that, serverless means no server. So it's a quite hot technique right now in cloud, in now, uh, cloud computing. In cloud computing, these platforms, these um, so-called businesses want to do do it in a more more and more centralized way. They want to they want to have the user data, every everything data. Everything relating to data uh, from uh, from uh, from from like I think every everything your location your uh, even uh, when when you access uh, your back, a coffee shop at uh, which date all of this information is to store on their server and also developers don't have to care about servers all data is all loaded in in cloud and cloud is con controlled by these uh, cloud providers so. If we are, if we are doing, if we were not doing Web three, if we went, went uh, we went uh, doing this with D Web tax, we were doing this to give it back uh, to the users to let them solve to hold a notice. I think in the long future, all things are uh, control, uh, very tight control by these uh, central farms. This is happening. This is happening in Web two. You can imagine uh, all our Web3 guys are, are thinking, oh, uh, we want to give it back to the users. But instead, in Web2, they are holding it tight, more tightly right now, currently. So this is that uh, from the developer's perspective, uh, perspective, I want to uh, share what's been happening right now in Web2. So what we're doing here is we're, uh, very critical, and it matters. So this is just a little bit of stretch on uh, what's uh, Glory thinking. I think yeah. so. Too, way up from that standpoint, it's like you know when we're developers and we say like, uh, you know, the most important thing about data is like knowing why you need the data. It's like a really slippery slope to just collect data without having uh, any, you know, idea of how you want to use it now. And if our data is just like collected and stored for you know however long a time it. Um, it can it has the potential to be used for good, but it also has the potential to be used for harm. Um, and so I think it's really important that people think about, you know, their data and you know, especially when now we're dealing with in Web three is like how can we you know let people control their own data and like, give them more sovereignty over it. So yeah. Yes. Yes, I think so. Because I think. 
and along future, as I mentioned, uh, human society will dive into a, a internet or a big metaverse, right? So metaverse, all metaverse is built on uh, bytes, is built on data, built on uh, something like uh, in digitalized uh, zero one, right? So if 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 you are not realized the data is owned by yourself, then I think you just lost the uh, freedom in this world. It's a new uh, metaverse era. Yeah, yeah. I think we're definitely going from a, a world where it's like individualized freedom, and what does individualized freedom mean? Yeah, you know, even at a global scale, especially as the world becomes more interactive and, and global from that perspective. So, um, yeah, it's very key. Yeah. Uh, definitely. And I think that's, uh, and then especially a lot of the concepts that we talked about today around decentralized identifiers, like uh, kind of uh, self-sovereign identities, all these concepts are also go just uh, beyond Web3. And they've been around for um, like over like, you know, decades. And this is like a continuous effort to uh, help uh, users gain more rights uh, to their data, which is like really kind of the your assets and currency in this uh, growingly digitized world, uh, increasingly digitized world. So um, I also want to call out that this is not just an effort uh, to build, you know, like another Web3 project or protocol. This it, like it's really kind of we're trying to facilitate a paradigm shift to a new uh, infrastructure. Yeah, so if you're uh, excited about next ID or just identity space in general and kind of building the new foundational layer uh, for the new uh, like new open uh, internet, uh, check out the hackathon. And we're here to answer any questions that you, you may have. Yeah, and from the audience members, if you wanna introduce yourself, tell us why you're here and what uh, you're curious about, feel free to uh, raise your hand. I also wanted to give a pro like tip for those who are thinking about trying to go after one of these bounties. Um, I believe you could look on our GetCoin YouTube media um, channel for past workshops that were done by you know, Mask, um, specifically on identity. You might be able to find a workshop that will help you get started a little quicker. If not, go to the next ID. I'm sure that way it could tell us about any developer resources that would be uh, accessible to you. But uh, there are tools that are out there to help you get started. And um, you know you don't have to reinvent the wheel completely. Like there are tools to, to help you get up and running. But even beyond this, like um, Hannah said, this is a conversation that is constant within the Web3 space. So if you're starting to just talk about self-sovereign identity or identity as a whole, um, I would encourage you to go down that rabbit hole because it is something that we are constantly talking about within the Web3 space and um, your insights and perspectives and just even becoming more knowledgeable is just a great thing to, to be doing. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Gloria, for the for the call out. And way are there other resources that um, developers can lean on to to in terms of this hackathon? We're just building long term and be part of our community. I think in general, uh, generalized thinking, we have um, we have uh, this uh, standard for uh, decentralized identifier. So it's uh, provided by. Uh, I think the founder of Web, I couldn't remember. I think he's the name, the Sir Ni, I don't, I don't Sam Lee. I, I couldn't even remember, sorry. Uh, like it's a really initiated by uh, the founder of Web. They, they are also uh, do a standard proposal for Next ID. You can go search for that to understand the DID in a general way. I think uh, also um, other, other tech techs, I think, I think it's better you uh, join our group because uh, when when you find out the questions, we can uh, discuss with you and give you those specific answers. I think right now for the IDs, uh, th there's no like a websites or a forum. Uh, they are focusing on this specifically, so this is better uh, you uh, join the community and. Uh, 
uh, we can ask uh, answer questions you may have. Uh, yeah, also, also but yeah, by general, of course, you should understand uh, DIDs why 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 it is here and why a um, bunch of people raised this idea. So check the of official website. I will share the link uh, in the comments. Yep. Thank you, Wei. All right. Any, if anyone has any last a few questions, uh, we'll leave the channel open for, for you to raise your hand. Uh, if not, I think we'll uh, wrap up soon. Any questions? Um, also make sure that you can claim the uh, OAT for today's um, Twitter space. We're also going to be uh, announcing our uh, Next ID community reputation program very soon. So all these participates in the different types of events uh, will be a part of your uh, kind of uh, overall reputation and proof of uh, engagement in our broader uh, community governance. All right. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, well, I think we've been doing AMA for about 50 minutes. Uh, thank you, uh, Wei and Gloria, for you both covered a lot of great things, uh, not just about uh, NextID and Gitcoin, but also like thank you for kind of giving us a crash course on uh, the fundamental concepts of uh, decentralized identity identifiers and uh, self-sovereign identities, et cetera. Um, yeah, we're really looking forward to even having like, a more in-depth conversation maybe some other time. As always, I am happy to be here. Uh, you know, if ever anyone has any questions, please feel free to reach out. My DMs are always open to this community, especially anybody who's trying to learn and make that transition into Web3. So um, thank you so much, Hannah, for having me. And I am well, I welcome you all to join any Gitcoin a hackathon, specifically Social Hour. If there's a couple days left. If I can help you get started, just let me know. Yep, yep. If you start today, you will still have full, like, uh, 48 hours plus I think some some time on Wednesday to finish it so definitely go check out the website and it's it's not too late to get started all right uh, with that I think we'll conclude today's uh, AMA and if you have uh, any more questions definitely make sure to join our groups and chat with us there cool any last thoughts from Wei or are we good Good. Thank you much for it. Um, as I will have to answer the questions that you may have. And much for I think uh, again I want to share the uh, diverse is very critical infrastructure for Web three. I think it is an essential way we uh, claim back the, the the digital ownership for yourself. If if we're doing so, I think all we all things. Upon a below, like DeFi, all of that is still centralized. You still experience re-experiencing whole uh, the whole experiences you had in Web two. So, yeah, yeah. Cool. Thank you, Wei, and thank you everyone for coming. Yeah, uh, looking forward to seeing more submissions uh, for the hackathon. All right. Well. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, have a good day, good evening, and good afternoon to, to all of you. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. See ya. Bye, everybody. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah,